the European economies in making different parts of one of our very high quality aircraft, especially last week when uh, Boeing's have been grounded their sort of their flagship aircraft, the 787 Dreamliner. But were the criteria adequate? It seems okay when the good times are going, then everything seems, seems to be going well. The criteria are not being tested too much. There was money to invest, there was money to spare. There was, there was good economic development. Growth rate was okay, and money was, was expanding. Um, but the events since 2008, we covered this last summer, uh, what happened with the global economic crash, that's the sort of precursor to all of these things going wrong in the Eurozone. Obviously inadequate for the economic challenges of recession and global downturn. In other words, they didn't contain enough protection. So, you know, you, you, you stress test something. You, on, uh, by spreadsheets, you say, okay, here's a compare of the situation now. Any company will do this. What happens if my raw materials are going to cost 10% more? What happens if prices don't go up every year? What happens if my workforce is going to cost more? You do a, a stress test on your assumptions and you see how far you can stress the situation before it starts to collapse. That, I feel, was not done. They didn't do those stress testing and there wasn't what I call elasticity in the conditions, the economic and financial conditions in the EU countries to make things work properly. And we've dealt, we've dealt with this in the questions and answers just now. Many economic pundits claim that the EU bodies were too relaxed uh, in, in confirming whether the original EU Euro countries had sat satisfied the criteria to begin with, because they had a common purpose. You know, you're members of a, of a club, and you say, we'd like our club to do these things, then you'll say, yes, I all agree, you'll agree, and you implement it. You're not too fussy about it. They should have been fussy. These are, these are big issues, um, and we'll see some of the ramifications of this. So a combination of fudge paperwork, insufficient due diligence, uh, and this has been, in, in terms of Greece in particular and some of the other Mediterranean countries, now that the European Central Bank and the European authorities in general have to look very stringently at what is going on in Greece, they're seeing, well actually the original paperwork is not very good and we actually can't understand that well what's going on now. And I'm going to take a couple of case studies. 